Welcome back, Travis. It's Havoc here. We are back playing a little more Sev Tech Ages. And let me tell you how I made another boo boo. Although this one I don't blame on myself. I had done a check before I started recording and everything was good. And then when I was checking my playback, um, I noticed that my sounds weren't recording in the last, like, well, what would have been the last episode, but uh, now it wasn't recorded. So um, the video is all there, but the audio is all gone. So. We got a little bit done, uh, not a whole lot, but I did do a little bit of building. As you can see, I put a roof and I extended out uh, my blacksmith shop-ish kind of area along with my blood magic. And now I do have stairs up to the second floor where I've got my astral sorcery star crafting table up there. And then I did build this little extension up here and add it to the top because I wanted to have an actual storage room. And so this is what this is going to be. And that's part of what we're going to do in today's episode. So we've got this area here that's going to be for storage, but as you can see, there's nothing in it. And other than that, we just got a couple things done. We did, um, I did go find some gold and some iron and that was actually off camera because I didn't think it would be all that interesting to go find some of these things. Um, and then I did make a smelter tank. So now we've got a lava tank. And from what I can tell, it doesn't seem to burn the lava. It just, it just keeps it hot and makes it melt. And so that's kind of cool. I yeah, I've got the lava tank connected here. Oh, never mind. The lava is all gone now. So I was wrong. It does eventually use the lava. Um, but yeah, I've been smelting up some iron and then I think I've got, I don't may not have any gold. I've got iron there. Yeah, I may not have any gold right now. Uh, but we've got a decent amount of materials built up. I did do some gold and we've got some tin and iron and copy and all that fun stuff. So that's been working pretty well and, do, and doing its job. And then as I eat my fruit, um, we did find um, some rock crystals. Uh, and that was actually some of the stuff I recorded. Apparently they do surface samples just like they do. And I didn't read this, but I guess if I would have locate a rock crystal sample on the surface and dig and you'll find them below Y10, I would have known that. But I found them by accident, actually, as I was out looking for gold and silver or iron, I did happen across the crystals. So now we've got a couple crystals in a box over there for whenever we're ready for astral sorcery, we've got some. And the nice thing is when I was reading about astral sorcery, apparently you only find like one or two of those at a time when you do find them. And that's what the uh, resonating wand is for is you use the resonating wand. It makes little light shimmers and then you know to dig straight down there, but we don't need them because the core samples does it for you. So that's kind of cool. Um, other than that, I did get the rock crystal. So I made the constellation paper and added that to my astral sorcery tome and uh, went to the beneath and fought myself an Enderman, actually like 20 of them before I finally got one of these Ender powders and uh, melted it into an Ender pearl to make the resonating wand. So that's kind of where we're at right now. But a couple of things I do want to get done in today's episode, I do want to get some storage done and that's one of the first things I want to do. But the very first thing I want to do is just go get some lapis. Uh, just to kind of complete this row. And also I have a feeling that this is going to breach out into other stuff and I want to see what we might need to do. So I'm going to grab a couple utensils and go grab some lapis really quick. I saw some right over by our uh, abyssal craft little ceremony thing. And so I'm going to run over there, go get some, and then we'll be right back. So fortunately the lapis is like super, super close to the house. It was like right here. So this shouldn't take too long at all, but I don't want to spend time going and finding it because I was just noticing that lapis is between Y10 and Y25. And if I was to bust out, oops, I didn't mean to do that. If I was to bust out this guy right here, it only shows to 48 blocks, which means if I'm standing at about 65 right now, that would only take me down to like 20. So I'm gonna have to get a little bit deeper and try to find some. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start digging down. And then um, once we get there, well, we'll be there. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So after not too much digging, a lot of peep holing around in this chunk here, I did finally find some lapis. Well, I haven't found the lapis yet, but I did find it with the, uh, what do we want to, the, what is this thing called? The dowsing rod. So we should be able to go straight down to it. I'm thinking we should be safe doing that. I'm seeing like lava sparks on the side. So I might do a safe drop down and I don't have any torches on me. So I'm super sorry if this is like really, really dark. Um, I wasn't expecting this to take too long, but I just wanted to kind of share the experience with you as I take forever trying to find some of these items sometimes. And so we sh I gotta be getting close. 
I hear those lava monsters. They bother me. Just the sound of them is so evil. Like, that lava is, like, directly under us. I gotta make sure I'm, like, split on these blocks. I'm s oh, okay, here we go. Alright, cool. So we found some lapis. Um, so what I want to do is actually, while we can kind of see this, I really wish I had some torches on me, uh, but I don't. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is go ahead and set up... Well, where was my tunnel? Their tunnel's right there. Okay. Uh, oh, no, wait. My tunnel was right here. Oh, it's both of these. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to set up a totem real quick to... There we go. And I need to grab my little totem sticky thing or my totem knife. Yeah. And switch this to, uh, I think it's Buffalo. Buffalo is the one that gives me haste, right? Um, I sure hope so. Cause I don't have my book on me. Okay. So two, three, four, right. Is that the base right there? So totem base. Oh, no, that's the totem base right there. Darn it. All right, let's do that again. Um, make sure I'm not going to be falling into any lava. I don't know where the lava's at. I know it's close, but I don't know where it's at. So, um, okay. And let's, well, that, what kind of haste do I have right now? I have haste, too. That should be better. For, <laughs> decent for right now. And so I just want to collect up some of this. I don't think we're going to need a lot right now, but... You know, while we're here, might as well kind of grab a, a decent amount. It's it's a little bit faster. It's not a whole lot faster with haste too. This this pick is not the greatest. Um, I mean, it's nice to have the all in one or whatever, but it's just it's really not the best pick. But we've got quite a bit there. Did that unlock anything for us? It didn't. So this was just a big old huge waste of time in that sense. But we're gonna head back up to the surface, and when we get back up. We will kind of continue on with the rest of today's episode. So we'll be right back. All right. So we're back. We've got our lapis completed. Not a big deal. Um, craft the basic crafting table from extended crafting for more complex recipes. Craft the basic crafting table from extended crafting. Hold on. Let's see this one. Basic, basic crafting table. So that, ooh, that looks kind of advanced. Um, that is two crafting tables, a block of iron. Got that. Basic crafting catalyst which is black iron and basic crafting component, which is some of that stardust, some iron rods and black iron slate. And that can be done here or here, but how do we make black iron? That is with crushed black quartz and iron to make black iron. So we're gonna need quite a bit of iron, it looks like, as well as uh, some more black quartz because I only have 23 of them. And from this recipe, it looks like I'm gonna need four of these. So I'm gonna need four of those. And then one of those, so five of those, and six, and then seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to need at least ten a week. I guess I can start on that. I can go throw ten of these in the crusher. I think I did the math right. We'll do a couple extra, just in case. I think the horse is currently hooked up to the crusher. He is not. He is hooked up to this one. Okay. So you come with me, dude. You got to come down here. Like that. No, like that. There we go. And let's put in, we'll put in 12. That's what we'll do. We'll put in 12 in here. So you'll start crushing up so we can make some of that black iron and get going on that other table. But I do want to look into some of the storage stuff because I guess there's a new way to do storage. I don't know. Um, it's one of the achievements that we got to take a look at, which is the place for my things. Use the framing table to build custom storage drawers using frame drawers and blocks you want as decoration. Okay. So framing table, um, this thing right here, that is trim. So four of the, okay. So I need five planks and four sticks to make four of those. And I need five. Of course I do. I need five of them because we couldn't just do one recipe. It has to be two. All right. So I've got those. Oh, I've got everything on me. Okay. So you, oh, trim. 
really you're gonna like do exact wood is that is that how we're gonna do this here um, and it doesn't use the yew wood or the mulberry wood of course you don't um, do I have any other planks made up now I've got plenty of the yule planks Oh, you know what? That's something else I didn't show you guys, so I guess I can go check this. Uh, I did also bring my strainers up to the surface here and change them out with the dead strainer for a regular strainer, and now I get regular wood and regular planks in these things. So, oh, actually not regular, but I get jungle in this specific biome, apparently. But that's planks, so that works. Okay, cool. Um, so, you, 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 and I need two... Really, are you really that tedious? Like, seriously? There we go. Okay, so eight of those. Cool. And then it was just five of you like this. There we go. And we got our framing table. Ob objective complete. Sweet. And I think we're just going to put this up in this room for right now. Just kind of makes sense since this is going to be our storage area. Oh, of course, it's too wide and just annoying. Okay. Okay. So framing table, um, this is interesting. So apparently it's like normal storage drawers, but we need something special like a chest and a chest maybe and some wood. How does it tell me how to do this? Um, for, no, that's all it does is just do that. Okay, so if I want a drawer, like okay that's oak trim i wonder if the trims are what works frame drawers okay here we go okay so you can just make those so what does this framing table do then that's just regular plank and two chests so what's the point of this table that's a little bit frustrating i i thought we were we were heading into something new and different that i've never seen before and all of a sudden i don't even know how to use the table so all right let's make a couple of these up then um Let's make some storage drawers here. Uh, six will be fine. Then we can make three of these. Actually, let's do the four by fours. Um, that needs four chests. So let's just make a couple of these. Okay. There we go. Oh, framed drawers. Hold 62. Yeah, this is like normal drawers, right? And so I've got six of these. So I can hold 12 items. So I don't know if this. Hold on. So if I put you in there, nope. Okay, that's got to go in this table. Okay, so I'm starting to see a trend here. That these are going to have to go in the table. And then maybe we add planks and stuff to it to make the drawers that we want. Let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, so you, you go there. Okay. And if I punch you in, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So I just add wood. Uh, if I add trim, oh, you make them all decorative and stuff. Oh, check that out. That's kind of cool. Like you see it all. Oh, you can make this totally customizable. So if I wanted that and that. That looks interesting. And. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Except those don't match. Those don't match because it's not regular oak wood. And I want some matching oak wood ones. So. Where do I have any oak wood in here today? Did, did I? Can I put these back together? I don't think I can. Can I? I can't. Uh, I was hoping. Um. So the trim, I'm okay. I'm okay doing the jungle trim. That's kind of cool. Uh, I can't make the mulberry wood trim. That won't work. And I wonder if I can just put. I want just trying weird things out here while I make my first couple sets of storage drawers. Um. If I can put like those in. So, oh, those do work. Oh, that's really cool. And then I can do that. Um, no, that's not the trim I want, but I want like this for the front face and then that for the trim. What does that look like? Those don't look bad. They kind of match the, I like that the actually, I'm, I'm doing it. Let's do it. Pew. All right, cool. So that was three of them done. What was I missing? I was missing something right here. What was I missing? What did I just do these with? Was it like that? Nope, those are definitely different looking. Oh, it was the trims. I put the trims on them. I don't know. Let's just put these guys down. Oh, really? 
All right, cool. And put you there. Now can I put items in you? I can. Oh, yeah. Storage is being upgraded. I like it. But not what I want to spend most of my day on. Okay, so <laughs> top 10 weirdest gadgets. If you would like a chunk loader, craft a weirding gadget and place it down to load a 3x3 area. Okay, well, let's look up this real quick. W-E-I, weirding gadget. There it is. Oh, no ender pearl, no chunk loading right now. But that's cool to know that we have a chunk loader, right? So, I'm going to go sleep off the night, and what we're going to actually do now is uh, head to the Between Lands to try to get a couple of those tasks done. But there's some useful stuff I saw in the Between Lands stuff, like um, find a Crag Rock Tower, loot 10 pots of chance, enter the Stronghold, ruin it, discover some ruins. So, this actually looks like there's some fun stuff to kind of go check out in the Between Lands. Like I said before, I don't know anything about it. I've never even heard of them. Uh, before we had to go there in the other episode. And so I'm kind of jazzed about trying some new stuff. So I don't, I don't need any wood on me. I should have enough food for at least a little adventure so I can put you guys back and you back. I really should just keep regular wood on me. Um, didn't I have more jungle wood planks? Uh, did I did I use those to make the chest? That was silly if I used those to make the chest. But we're going to head over to the Between Lands and kind of get going on some of these things. Because um, some of the things are really, really simple. And so if we can start knocking out a couple of those, that would be really cool. And since we know we're going for completion here, it's going to take a minute. So let's head over to the Between Lands. I feel a little bit more comfortable now that I know a little bit more about it. Um, I feel like... It should just happen right away, but no, I do have to wait in the doorway. Okay, cool. I uh, need to locate an ore vein in a chunk. Use items from the prospector mine. All right, cool. So we are here. I don't know. What are these bubbles about? About over my food. What is that all about? Um, and what? Did anybody see that achievement that we just, what, what achievement was that? Um, advanced darkness. Um, what was that about? I don't know. Um, okay, so we already created the crafting table. And so this was one I looked at earlier. It's called a dual sulfur furnace. So I think we might need to find some of the sulfur stuff and obtain extra ingots using limestone flux. Interesting. Uh, farming, uh, compost your soil. Breed together two mere snails. Um, what else we got? Fa uh, upgrade a weapon or armor piece with a middle gem. So let's go just kind of venture out and check stuff out here. I don't want to get in this green slime. I'm sure it's just water. Like, I'm pretty sure it's just water. But I don't want to... I don't want to go in it. <laughs> and we had a crafting table around here somewhere. Where did I have my crafting table at? Is it over on this side over here? I had one set up somewhere. Where was my crafting table at? <coughs> we were here. We did this. Where is my crafting table? Well, let's go venture around and kind of check it out. We've already seen some of the... Oh, there it is right there. Okay. We've already seen some of the bad guys here. And, uh, and so it'll be interesting to kind of see what else is offered. Oh, why am I so slow? There's mud there. Um, Not you again. Hey. Hey, back off. Oh my gosh, these guys got some health on them. I really don't want to mess with you this much. It's really hard. What'd you give me? Some slimy bones? Oh, literally called slimy bones. And some rotten food. Interesting. We'll see what that does. Um, you know what? Let me mark. I should really, really mark on the map before we take off. So I know where to get back to. Because, well, it'd be stupid to let myself get lost over here. Okay, so right here, um, spawn. Or, yeah, sure. Spawn works for me. All right, cool. And now it's raining, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It'd just be too peaceful without. Let's go venture out a little bit. Maybe we can find some of these cool things that we're supposed to be finding. Um... Weed wood log tree. I noticed that the other tree started planting some in the overworld. I'm not sure if those are going to grow there. Because um, if they do, that could be a bit of... Her. That's just a big old open area over there. Um, I can't tell. 
this looks so ominous. Like this, like TARDIS or not TARDIS, but Doctor Who crack in the. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Okay. Um, this like Doctor Who crack in the sky over here. If you guys watch Doctor Who, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't watch Doctor Who, you should. Hey, what are you guys? Why are you chasing me? Ah! Oh my gosh, there's like bad mobs everywhere. Come on, leave me alone. Oh my god, what is that thing? Oh, what are you? Dragonfly. Okay, I can handle that. Moss. I don't think a crab should have that much health. I should be able to take a crab out with like one swipe. Hey. These things got some health on them. They don't seem to do much damage, but... Enough of them hit me enough times, they're gonna... Did that thing shoot at me? Did that blue thing over there shoot at me? Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Okay, let's get out of here. I need to eat. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, some arrows would probably be really helpful right about now. Oh my goodness, this is not a safe place at all. And it's like, when you read, like, you know, the uh, objects of, like, what it wants you to do, it's like, well, here, go craft this and craft... Little simple things, right? And then all of a sudden, I'm getting mobbed by these crazy mobs. They're all over the place. Alright, so I know, like, a stronghold was one of the things, so I'm looking for something unique building-wise. I got a crab claw. I wonder what that's good for. Alright. Hopefully we can find something cool soon. I don't think those tipped over trees are stronghold, so I think we're safe with that for right now. Um, oh, you can actually walk through the bush. That's kind of cool. I'm sure things are going to pop out and kill me. Um, these trees? I mean, there's a lot of cool... Oh, good grief. I'm getting stuck on, like, everything. Um... Anything interesting here? Not really. I don't know what I'm looking for, so this is kind of interesting. But I do want to do some digging, because I have a figure in sulfur is going to be like an underground thing, like with coal and stuff. That would be my guess, if I were to try to make a smart gun. Um, what did we get? Uh, that's some big wood. Oh, there's a tree I was supposed to find. I wonder if that's it, or if this is... Oh, this has got to be it. So let's go check out our quest log real quick. Because I knew I had to find a tree somewhere. Herbalist? Is that it? No. Miner? No. Is that it? No. Adventurer. Here it is. Um, find a giant wood tree. Get a pirate angry by hitting its tree. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me start a fight with this guy who has 60 hearts. Because you want me to get an achievement done, huh? All right, this is going to be stupid. Hey, I'm hitting your tree, dude. He doesn't seem to be mad. Do I just hit him? Like, dude, I'm hitting your tree over here. Do you not see this? Is am I not hitting it hard enough? Do I need to hit it harder? Come on, dude. Ho! Oh! oh, that was so not cool. He's like a dang blaze that moves away. That's so not cool. That's such a setup for failure right there. And he's going to burn his own tree down, dude. Don't burn the tree down. Um, oh, see, I'm over here trying to save your tree, man. Hey, would you get closer so I can hit you? Yeah, your fireballs don't do so much good when I'm in the water, do they? Oh, this mud. Oh, jeez. It's everywhere. Oh, my goodness. This mud. My pick keeps, like, disappearing on me. Oh, you can't use it when you're in the water. That's interesting. That's a new mechanic I'm not used to. Okay, you're just a poopy head. Um, 
Well, I guess technically I got the achievement. I don't really need to fight this guy, per se. I got the achievement, so let's let's head out of here. Um, and try to go find a stronghold, apparently. And hopefully he doesn't follow me. Oh, yeah. No, he's following me. Come on. This is just the stupidest thing ever. And then he runs away. This is so not a fair fight. This is so not a fair fight. Like, go attack this guy. Um, make a, Start a fight. And then, what is this? Rubber tree log? Sure, I'll grab some of that while I'm here. And what are this? Swamp reed. I don't know if it's going to be useful, but I'm going to take some. Did he, he stop following me? Okay. Okay, well that was just silly. That was... Set me up for failure, huh? Okay, so I guess we can kind of check out some of these things. Um, I do want to go back towards... Let's let's bring that back up. Which way am I going? Um, this direction. What is that thing right there? He's too big and yucky looking. I don't want to mess with him. I just want to get back over to a tree. Maybe do a little digging. Maybe we can find some of that sulfur we're supposed to find. The storm is extremely loud. Ooh, what's this down here? Oh, it's like a cave. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's that sulfur I was looking for, I think. Yeah. Not a lot of it. Okay. Um, slimy bone ore? Well, that's interesting. Let's kind of see what some of these things are used for. Um, I gotta turn those sounds down. That's just not happening. Uh, master volume will turn you down a little bit. Okay, so I guess we can collect some of these up and see what they're all about and let's check out the uses on some of these. Slimy bone ore can be used for, or slimy bones, uh, swamp talisman, oh you can make those talisman, that's cool. Uh, slimy bone block, a composite bow, a bone sword, um, bone armor, it doesn't look like the strongest, and yeah there's just all sorts of weird, weird stuff. Interesting. Um, what about... There's something else. Oh, the reeds. I have a feeling probably just like sticks. Oh, no. Uh, jungle bamboo chime. Better with mods. Oh, okay. That's just... Yeah. So, yeah. So, basically like sticks or like... Uh, yeah. Whoa, what is that sound? Oh, the sulfur, though. That's what I wanted to see. What do we use the sulfur for? That's a sulfur block. We can make sulfur torches. Um... Smelts and an animator and a purifier. A purifier makes crag rock. Okay, so I want to check out that sulfur double. Oh man, this, I'm hearing all those sounds and they're creeping me out. Um, dual sulfur furnace. Let's check that out real quick. Dual sulfur furnace. This has got to be it. Yep. Okay, so it's a sulfur furnace with uh, between stone. That's got to be this stuff, right? Yeah. So we'll get up a little bit of this. Wow, this takes a while to mine. This isn't fast at all. But we'll get a little bit of it, and then we'll look up the sulfur furnace and see if that's actually even useful. Okay, so I just need 16 of these. That's all I need. That's, that's super simple. I'm going to put that in my inventory so I can see how many I have. It doesn't break quickly, that's for sure. This is a place that... Uh, Haste could come in really, really useful. But at least we're getting some things done, right? This is a creepy place, to be honest with you. Just like the, the feeling of being here is kind of eerie and ominous. And uh, it, it slightly bothers me. And I wonder if sulfur is going to be the fuel for this thing. So I have to get more sulfur. I don't know. We'll see. But we've got that for right now. So we've got that achievement complete. Well, will be complete. Um... Which way? Oh, you stay away. You don't look nice. You stay over there. I'm watching you. Oh, I am out of my berries. All right, so health is getting a little low. Not low, but kind of. Um, so we're going this way. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's like mud everywhere. And those things are just... Oh, there's so many creepy sounds. So many creepy sounds. Um... Oh, what was that? It's like sparked white. 
walking through. Oh my goodness, it's just, it's like the creepiest swamp. This is like what a Minecraft swamp should be like. Like seriously, this is this is what a Minecraft swamp should be like. I actually appreciate that aspect of it. It's actually kind of cool. Um, what's that torch over there? What is that? What is that? Are those like light bugs? Or oh, what is what is that creepy guy over there? Oh my gosh. Butterfly? That's cool. No, no. Above water. Above water. There we go. All right. We got to be close, right? Got to be close to where we're going. Y'all stay away. Stay away. Okay. We're going to run a little bit farther. Um, I think I'm going north. That's where I'm supposed to be going, right? I'm supposed to be going this way. Yeah, right opposite of the... Yeah, this way, okay. Off, right towards all those bad things I was just running from. What is that thing? I don't want to find out, actually. I'm just going to run by all these guys. And get hit by something while I'm in the water. And just try to get closer. I don't want to get so far away again. Not until I'm... Slightly better armored and ready for more of a battle. Um, if ever. I mean, me battling just doesn't ever happen. I end up dead more often than not. But I was good about watching my hunger and stuff. Although I'm sprint jumping this whole time. Okay. where? Oh, there's the portal. Okay. Let's get safely over here. I know I've got my crafting table around here. So I can go craft up that furnace. There we go. Um... So over by, it was over by a tree. Maybe it's on the other side over here. It's over here? Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So we're gonna make this dual sulfur furnace here. Do, 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 do. You go like that and dual sulfur furnace. Okay, let's put this bad boy down and see what he's all about. What do you do that's useful? What are you? You stay away. Okay. Um, that's probably the next thing that it leads to, which is this uh, obtain extra ingots by using limestone flux. That's probably something we're going to get here. But if that's the case, I'm going to take this with me because it's a get du dual ingots or double ingots. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that here or back in the overworld, but I kind of want to take that with me right now. Um, I'm kind of like, I honestly, I'm... My blood pressure is like raising right now. This place is creepy to me. And I wanted to get other stuff done other than just the between land stuff. But there's just so many things here to kill me. And I don't have a lot of food. Well, let's see what else we can do. Okay. Let's, while we're here, right? Compost your soil. Okay. So let's look up a compost. This guy right here, right? Super simple. Um, some wicker so we can use the reeds which got i need 16 of those right right four of those so i need four times six is 24 i don't see any oh there they are right there there's actually quite a few of them so i might be able to get enough to do that all right oh this mud is everywhere stop bothering me mud um, how many did I get? 28 of them. Cool. That's enough. And I should have enough wood. Although I might have to do it on the chopping block, huh? All right, let's try this real quick. Um, to make these guys. Oh yeah, it's the rock and some planks. Or I can do a chest and slats. And slats are done that way. So it looks like I have to go with this recipe. Um... I can, yeah, that makes rocks. That's right. Okay, cool. Um, I should have enough to do this. One of you. And I need six of you. Oh, it's got to be those. Oh, I thought that they might be used. Oh. Back to the overworld it is. That toad is like following me, but he's not attacking me. Kind of makes me nervous. Kind of makes me really nervous, actually. Um, I'm like so stuck right here. I can't, apparently you can't jump when you're in the mud. So you got to get out of the mud to jump out. That's so much to learn about this place. But I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. All right. Back to a nice safe place. And our safe big tree. All right. And we're going back this way. All right. Cool. So, oh, I got a hole there. Careful of the hole. 
careful where you build stuff. All right, so we'll go back, sleep the night off. Oh my gosh, that place makes me a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie, it makes me a little bit nervous. But we got a couple of those achievements done. There's going to be a lot more we got to do over there. And that kind of scares me. Not just a little bit, but a lot. All right, so let's get some sleep done. Thank you. We'll go down here and get some sugar canes. We've got tons of it. Good. That should be enough, right? Nope, that's only 18. That's 31. That is enough. All right, cool. And there's like nowhere to go. Okay. Some of this, some of this build, I gotta start adding like some pathways down into that area because it just it'll be easier. But um, so we're gonna compost some stuff up. So I need six of these. Good. And then we can make you cool. And it says compost soil. Where should we put our composter? I'm gonna put it over here by the chickens. Just cause why not, right? And <clears throat> what goes in here? Compost. It said compost your soil, right? Um, so by soil, do you mean dirt? Didn't I just pick up a piece of dirt somewhere? Swamp dirt? Nope, that ain't it. Did I just break a piece of dirt over there? Shouldn't I have a piece of dirt on me? I, hold on. I mean, this has probably got to be done over there, but at least I got the compost now. Um, compost your soil. That's all it says. Um, soil. Okay. Um, Twilight Forest, Tinkers, Tinkers. These are all different kinds of soil. That's... A little bit confusing. All right, what else we got? Uh, breed together two Meyer snails. I don't know if I ever saw any Meyer snails, but I'm not sure if I want to see any Meyer snails. Um, upgrade a weapon or armor piece with a middle gem. Maybe we'll make some torches and go do a little uh, digging around in the between lands. Maybe that's what we'll do. Do I have any? I've got plenty of charcoal. Um, I've got the sticks. What do I need? I need. I guess I can use leather cordage. Oh, I don't want to use leather cordage. Don't I have more of these plant fibers? Can, did I use all of them? Like all the annoying ones? I'm fi I'm finally out of all the... I'm finally out of all the annoying ones. Okay. Let's go break some grass and get some more. I've cleared out so many of them that you would think I would have like hundreds, but apparently not. There we go. Make up a whole heap of torches. I think you only get two per recipe, if I remember correctly. So, we're going to need a lot. I guess I could have just done the bone meal, too, because I've got so much of that stuff. So much bone meal. And... I think that should be good for right now. Right? Let's see. I got a stack and then some. Oh, stack plus one. Oh, that's just so annoying. Okay. Get you all evened out. There we go. So I believe it's you, you, and you, right? 14 torches. I can go make more. Just need to go grab some more sticks, which I've got a surplus of those as well. And we'll go back and probably tr we'll try to do some mining in the between lands and see if we can find any of the cool gems and stuff that we're supposed to find there. Um, you know what? I don't even need to go to my storage. I can just go right over here. I've got... Oh, I can't go through there. I can go down here, though. Because I've got a lot of sticks in there. Yes. Okay, cool. So, you, you, and you. Alright, so we've got 44 torches. I think that's a good start. And I could probably make some more of the stew. Some hearty stew. Because we're going to need that. And for that, I think I'm short on mushrooms right now. Let me grab like, well, I can make, where are my bowls at? Did I put them in here? Did I put them in here? There's two in there. Oh, you know what? They're actually up there. Okay, cool. Never mind. I'm going crazy. Um, too much. There we go. 
I think that's all it is. I need two more carrots and two more mushrooms to make two batches in the cauldron because everything else is already in there. So mushrooms go in, carrots go in. All right. That's going to give me a stack. Okay. And then that's going to give me, there we go. Cool. I got everything I want. And I'm going to grab some fruit so I can keep getting my fruit levels up. Everything is almost back to par. I did die while I was trying to get that ender pearl. Um, that dark place is just a very dark place. Very, very dark place. And uh, the beneath is what I'm talking about as I was trying to find Enderman. And I did get killed, and so I'm trying to get all my levels back up. And as you can see, fruit is the one that's been missing. So, But we'll get some hearty stews. I'll grab as much fruit as I can. Five of them should be good for right now. Why'd you stop? You were cooking it. Why'd you stop? What am I short? I cooked the carrots. What am I missing? Hold on. Hold on here. Hearty stew. Potato. Oh, nope. Got the potatoes. Wheat flour. Nope. Got the flour. Bowl. Meat. Carrot. Potato. Wheat. Oh, it's three mushrooms per. Three mushrooms per. Okay. So I need six mushrooms and three more carrots. I can do that. I can do that. Okay. So six mushrooms and three more carrots. Although I can only make two recipes. So it's actually only two more carrots. Okay. So mushrooms and pink, pink, pink. There we go. Now we're, now we're cooking with fire. Okay, cool. So I'm going to get this made up and then we're going to head back to the between lands and try to get some more stuff done there. So we'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys. So we're back in the area and I did a little bit of mining. I found a little cavern thing here and it's, yeah, it's like caverns. Um, and I started mining up and then I realized, you know what, I should probably kind of pick back up because I found some ores and realized I st hadn't started recording yet. So I found some of this Syramorite ore and then I found quite a bit of sulfur. And then right over here, I found a whole bunch more sulfur. Uh, do I have any more torches on me? No, but I've got six. Okay, I can make some more. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and put some more of these around here. I don't know how safe or dangerous this is, but... Ah, there's some more of the Simorite ore right there. Um, I haven't found a bunch, but I found some. But I found a lot of the sulfur, and I have a feeling the sulfur is going to be extremely useful uh, for that dual furnace. So I'm kind of happy every time I see this. And then there's one other thing that we need to yield double ingots. And I'm sure this is the stuff I'm actually going to smelt to get the double ingots. I'm not 100%. You know, let me plop this thing down real quick. Dual sulfur furnace. Let's see if that's all right. So if I just put you in there, you're the fuel. And if I put you in there, you smelt, right? And then we need some of this, which was limestone. Oh, that's right. It was limestone something or other, but I haven't found any limestone. What's, ooh, what's that? Is it the lichen stuff? Lichen. Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. All right. So while that's cooking up, we'll see if that's what I'm going to get is those ingots over there. And if it is, I mean, this is cool because this is basically just coal in this world. That's... Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory in a sense. It goes in the furnace, it cooks up, and I can do two at once. Yes, and let me get more of this bone because this seems to be like what a lot of stuff's made out of too. Like I might be able to make myself a bone sword because as I can, far as I can tell, um, the other tools here are kind of useless. Okay, cool. So what are you used for? I can make a shield or shears. A trap door. Oh, I can make armor. Oh, oh, that's five. And actually, I don't even have any leggings anymore because my armor is like beat to heck. Okay, new shinies. That okay? Apparently, that was an achievement that I didn't know about. Um, where were you at? It's got to be somewhere over here because it's saying uh, knock back three swamp hags in a row using a shield. Okay, so I mean. I would say we're we're kind of doing the right thing here. Um, now on the other side, there's a reason I'm not really uh, going too fast right now. On the other side, there was this tar monster in this like crazy looking area, and I don't want to mess with him again. Um, he tried to pull me in, and I got away, and I don't want to go anywhere near him again. Um, can I get you right there? There we go. All right, this cavern just kind of scares me a little bit. Um, how did I not notice that I was that low on hearts? Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, I uh, I I died a couple times while I was off camera too. Um, there was this monster over here that killed me like three or four different times before I finally got free. That made me kind of sad, but I'm like, I don't even care about health anymore. <laughs> like my, my nutrition has got to be back down to like zero. Yeah. Like nothing. I, yeah, it's been a tough time. It's been a tough, uh, last like 20 or 30 minutes. Um, I was going to show that stuff, but it was literally just like getting killed. And then as soon as I spawned back in, I got killed again. And then as soon as I spawned, I got killed back in and I just... It wasn't the most entertaining stuff to watch. But let's go back and get my stuff back here. Now that I'm not going to die from like one block of fall damage. Right? Yep, there's my stuff. There you go. All right. So I'm having... I am having fun kind of checking all this. This stuff is so cool. Like... Ooh, is that like... Nope, it's a stalactite. But what does the material... Is it not giving me drops? Nope. Okay. So we'll leave you alone for right now. Um, I can always get more sulfur. I've got a ton, right? Well, not a ton. I got 39 of them, but I've got a decent amount right now. So what I was going to say was there's this crazy tar monster, um, the other direction from where I came. And I don't want to mess with them right now because I have a feeling tar is kind of like oil and I will get drowned in it if I go mess around. So I don't want to get too close to it. But I am trying to find... Oh, there's one of those toads. I am trying to find some more useful materials. Like this stuff. If I could make a full set of this armor, I would be pretty happy. Because I think it's probably going to be stronger than the uh, black quartz armor that I have been using. So, and it's really dark here. Like, I think it's just a wall. Yeah, but you can't quite tell. It's so dark here. Um, we might go take a look at where the tar monster is at, though. Just because uh, it's probably going to have to happen. Um, yeah, I just, if we can find more materials, that would be really cool while we're finishing up. And that just looks scary. Like I have to fall and take damage. But there's a ton of the sulfur, which is cool. So I can make a ton of torches and stuff while I'm here. And I wonder if those work in the overworld. That I don't I don't know if they work in the overworld. Um, I would I would assume they would. It probably doesn't, you know, go both ways, but like the overworld torches don't work here, but those probably do. Um, and I'm also trying to remember where I came up from. Uh, okay. I wonder if these hurt. Do these hurt? No. Nope. Okay. Oh, what we got here? Hanger. Do I get anything from... No, of course I don't. Oh, is this limestone? Oh, this is. So this is what we need to make... Um, oh, what's it called? Like the double... Or ingot... Yeah, that, that thing in the dual furnace. We need this stuff. So I'm going to grab some right now. We got to make a uh, mortar and pestle. I believe that's what I saw. And I'm so lost now, by the way. I know we got to go back that direction. But I'm having fun kind of venturing around and just checking this whole area out. Um, I, I pretty much found... Oh, there we go. Um, for the most part, most of the stuff I was looking for. Uh, let's look at the mortar and pestle real quick. Um, pestle. That is that into crag rocks. Crag rock is mossy crag rock and mossy crag rock in a purifier. And I don't have any crag rock. I have between stone. Um, what about the mortar? Um, oh, it's in there. Okay. So more crag rock. Okay. So I haven't found any of that. So we can't make that stuff yet. So we can't make the dual furnace useful yet. Okay, that's just a wall. All right, so we got to head back to where once we came. Um, following torches back towards my... Where did I drop down from? Where I took a little bit of fall damage and died. <laughs> where was that at? Was it right here? No. 
I might just have to mine my way back up. That might just have to be how it happens. Because I, for the life of me, cannot figure out where I was. I'm, like, lost in this cavern. But it's really cool. I do... I'm enjoying this now. Now that I'm down here, I'm not getting attacked by mobs and stuff. And I'm starting to see kind of how this world works. I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. Um... Okay, I had a torch up there, which means I had to have been up there at some point. Right? So is this where I dropped down right here? I think this might be where I dropped down. Um, what do I have a lot? I have a lot of the between stone. Let's take some of this with me. And let's see if this is where I dropped down. Is this where I came out of? No. Oh, right up here. Ah, there it is. Okay, that's where I came down. Hey, get up there. All right, so what I was trying to explain about the crazy um, tar monster guy. I don't want to get too close, but it's right over here. I'm going to go back to where we came from. When yeah, Okay, here he is. The crazy tar monster guy is over here. I don't know if this is a shrine of some sort or what, but it's not safe. <laughs> he sucked me right in, and I was actually up there when he did it. Um but it just looks like, I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's just, it's tar. I don't know the use of tar. And I don't think I can even reach the bottom, can I? Oh, I can. So maybe if I fill it, then the tar, or maybe the tar monster is gone. Maybe after he, uh, after I ran away and died, he despawned. I don't know. But, yeah. This room, I mean, it looks cool. There's got to be a purpose to it. But, oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, so it's not quite like oil. Oh, but see, he pulled me right in. Okay, so the crazy tar monster is there. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, I see him. No, you get away from me. You don't mess with me. I'm going to eat my food real nice over here. I'm going to get my hearts back up. And I think what we'll do is we'll kind of wrap up here because I know we're already at the hour mark and I want to get a lot more done here. And so we might just pick up right here next time and kind of venture out more. Maybe I'll do a little more hunting off camera and find out what's going on in this place. But there he is. And he, he sent some smoke up after me last time. So I can watch him while he's doing this. Tar Beast. That's his name. Tar Beast. Well, he tried to suck me in. You're not sucking me in again. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think that's a good place to finish off. So I'm going to go get my stuff back and, oh, not that guy again. Not you again. Yeah, so I'm going to go get my stuff back and maybe venture around a little more safer. And next episode, we'll kind of pick up right where we left off and kind of see what other stuff we can get done here in the between lens because... This place is a scary, scary place. And now I got to go try to get my stuff back. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Well, until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>